Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design lateral steel members in the RAM frame steel post processor according to the standard provisions. In the previous series of videos, we've already set up all of our design information in this particular model, including specifying our steel design code and generating our steel design load combinations. We're at the point where we're ready to perform a member code check. To start that process, go to the main menu, select process followed by member code check. The member code check command will check the stress and capacity of each member in the model on the currently selected steel design code. After the program has completed the member code check command, you're going to notice that all of your lateral steel members will be color coded according to their interaction values. Now I do find it easier to maybe turn off some of the non-pertinent members while I'm reviewing the results of this command. To do that, go to your view toolbar and feel free to turn off all of your gravity systems. Now if I were to take a look at the color scale, I would notice that a couple of our chevron braces at the third floor level are currently failing. Now if you'd like some more information regarding exactly how far they are being pushed over the limit, we can go ahead to the color scale and click on show values. This will display the actual interaction ratio that was determined for each of the lateral steel members. Now that I've established that some of my chevron braces at the third floor level are currently failing, I wanna get some additional information regarding those members so I can rectify the situation. To do that, let me go up to the process menu and select the member view update command. What you're gonna notice is that your cursor is going to change shape, which will allow you to select one of your lateral steel members. I'm gonna go ahead and select one of my failing chevron braces. What's gonna happen now is the view update dialog will appear on your screen, which will give you more information regarding the current section properties that are assigned to that brace, the yield strength of steel that's assigned to that brace, and the interaction at ratio as it stands right now. Now, if I wanted some additional information regarding basically which checks were performed or which checks are currently failing, I can click on the view results button. What this will do is it'll bring up the member code check report for the particular member I have selected. I'd be able to review some of the input information including the unbraced length for axial and bending capacity. And I can also review all the checks that were performed in the controlling interaction ratio information. Now that I've reviewed the report, let's go ahead and close out of that. Now what I've decided to do for this particular brace is I've decided to go ahead and increase its size and hopefully that will get me to a passing member design. So here from the view update dialog, what you're gonna notice is that you can select any shape or size that are available for braces in RAM structural system. I can also change the yield strength. And I do wanna make sure I do this if I do change the shape of the member. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and stick with a rectangular HSS section, but I'm gonna see if maybe a thicker wall will get me to where I wanna go. I'm gonna select an alternate size, and what I'm gonna notice immediately is that the traffic indicator light in this dialog is now yellow. This indicates that this design has not been performed on this member since I made some changes. Once I make the changes, let's go ahead and click the Analyze button. You're gonna notice that the interaction equation is gonna be updated and the traffic indicator light is green. So it looks like an HSS six by six by three eighths will get me to where I wanna go. Now, if I wanna keep this size and officially assign it to that member, go ahead and click the update database button. Once we do that, we can go ahead and click close and move on with our workflow. Now, what you're gonna notice in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen is that 
this module's indicator light is now appearing in yellow. This means that this design is not current. The reason it's not current is because they changed some section properties after the analysis was performed. So in order to complete the design, to make sure that the analysis and design are consistent with each other, I do need to restart my workflow. I want to reperform a lateral analysis and perform a new code check to make sure that the forces are redistributed, considering the new section properties, the new stiffness matrix, and to make sure that interaction ratio is still less than 1.0. Now, before I do that, I'm noticing I do have several other braces that are either failing or very close to that limit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide to change all my chevron braces to the 3 8 inch thick wall. To do that, I'm going to go to my main menu, select a sign. What you're going to notice is you can change the size of any of your members within your model. I'm going to select the braces option, go with size. And then I'm going to select the size that I'm looking for. Here I'm going to select a 6 by 6 by 3 8 Now I'm going to go ahead and choose to assign this to all of my chevron braces in my model. So I'll go ahead and click on the All button. And then click Save. Now before I know if those new section properties are satisfactory, I again need to reperform a lateral analysis. To do that, I'm going to go back to the analysis mode using the mode pull down menu and reperform a lateral analysis considering all of my currently selected load cases. So the building analysis has been completed considering the new section properties that are assigned to those braces that I just changed. At this point, I'm going to proceed back to the steel post processor and re-perform a member code check. After the code check is complete, I'm going to review the new color-coded members in my model. Again, if I want to show their values, I can go ahead and do that. And I can see that my model has been successful. All of my members are now passing the code check. All of their interaction ratios are less than 1.0. So this will conclude the process for performing a member code check in the steel post processing mode of RAM frame according to the standard provisions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.